What up, buddy ones? So I've been trying to work out if I should put out this build or not. Uh, not because it's broken, not because it's OP, or because it's super buggy. Because it is kind of all of the above. It's not like super OP because it still kills pretty slow. Um, but you can basically get infinite stealth using it. Um, the reason I am hard about it is because I don't actually have the perfect build for it. I have the perfect item set up, which is enabling the build. But uh, unfortunately, I was messing around just unlocking stuff with Superbot because it's new, so I need to unlock all the perks and all the upgrades. So I've got like charge shot in here, which um, isn't ideal for the build. There's other perks I'd rather have in that slot. However, this does set the groundwork for basically infinite stealth kill builds. Uh, it will mostly revolve around melee. I think the remote and french fries are pretty important for it. Um, then you need super backup so that you turn invisible. And what this does is it's the same as the ranger perk. So you can turn invisible for four seconds and still attack while invisible. The super backup, so it increases it to 4.5 seconds, is probably a useful upgrade. The other one you don't have to have for the build to work. Then you have close combat, which will decrease the cooldown of your overdrive when hitting bosses or when you're killing enemies. And then you can crank up your crit chance by loads with Sharp Eye, which can get about, what, 50% crit chance off from itself, which is insane. So we're going to be spamming overdrive and staying invisible and just melling everything down. Now, as you can see, it's taken me 30 minutes to get here, which is outstandingly slow. So it's not the quickest build out there, but it is a very, very safe build. So let's see what it does. This, um, this, uh, like the super backup and Alfred super bugs out bosses as well. Uh, I just had a light show with um, Beetle Royale, but. Let's go into the room and show you how the bosses and fights play out. So, off the bat, we just go in, act activate overdrive to summon our crit, and then every kill that we get is decreasing our cooldown. Every crit we're getting every two seconds is decreasing our cooldown, and as you can see, we can just keep spamming and keep getting stealth back. Now, obviously, our minions hitting. Crits will also be decreasing crit chance, uh, the crit chance, the overdrive. So you don't necessarily even need to be doing much. It's <coughs> messed up a little bit there, but it's fine. Quite can heal ourselves. And as I say, I don't have the perfect perks, because I do have a gun perk in here, and I would rather another melee perk or another overdrive perk realistically uh, but the core two perks are close combat and super backup and then sharp eye is super useful if you do manage to get french fries and I really would suggest learning to play while hacked because TV remote is fast becoming one of my favorite items in the game I think it's super busted if you can play while hacked or if you can reduce the hack time with Plant pot, so it just doesn't matter. And as you can see, a lot of enemies, even though are uh, like distracted and should be attacking Alfred, just end up standing still and doing nothing. So it's even stronger. So as you can see, our damage isn't like terrible, but the problem is your damage as you get to this point, as with most Superbot builds, as you'll find out playing it yourself, is pretty slow and pretty weak. But yeah, we took some damage there because I was commentating while playing, which is never the easiest thing to do. Um, but you can see it's, it's quite safe, you get stealth non-stop, and we'll see how badly this bugs out the boss I guess. It probably will bug out phase 2 more than phase 1 because phase 1 doesn't actually really attack you. 
that just attacks. Um, so in the past I did a perma stealth um, ranger build, and you could see it still just swung wildly because none of the attacks are in there. You can see it keeps going to shoot rockets, but not shooting the rockets because it can't see where I am. It doesn't seem to like having multiple Alfreds on the battlefield at any given time. The main issue is this boss doesn't like to stay forward enough to use the melee. Let's just shoot that this last bit. And we'll see how it bugs out the second one. So yeah, I will reiterate, the damage of this is fairly terrible, but so is the damage of a lot of super bots builds. Uh, you need three perks to really get off the ground with them. But if you want to see more build videos that just cut out most of the run and just go to the end like this, let me know. If you want more in-depth ones and you like the full runs, also let me know because I'm kind of lost for it if I should bother doing content with it or not. Yeah, here we go. Same ranger bug that you used to get. Right? It just bugs out and won't attack. So I'm free just to sit here now. Completely bugged out. I won't do any attacks. So there you go. 101 of how to bug out. Oh, there you go. It's got one attacker. Good job. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. So, fun little build. I'm not sure how many cooldown items you need. If you've seen this video, I've tried to do get a better build going, but unfortunately haven't lucked out with TV remote and or French fries and haven't been able to showcase perma invis again. But yeah. Charge shot shouldn't be in this build, that was just me unlocking perks. Super backup is important, close combat is important, and then sharp eye is probably just one of the perks you're going to want in every single build, because it's 50% crit chance across the board, so it's probably one of Superbot's best perks. Alright, peace out guys, peace love and buddy bots, bye!